Hi, welcome to Entertainment Boulevard. I'm your host, Haley Greaves. Today on Entertainment Boulevard, we'll start off this season with a wonderful show. The following segments will be filled with song, art, and moving imagery. We have an ensemble of talented high school singers, a passionate art teacher, an award-winning animation, and a darling elementary school chorus. Let's meet the Great Expectations Show Choir, a high-energy group that simply has fun. They are from Tapsco High School and Center of the Arts, and under direction of Mrs. Ashley Foster. Great Expectations has graciously performed for various elementary, middle, and high schools, as well as government officials, school functions, holiday events, and placing superior in many competitions. The students with various backgrounds audition for Great Expectations and are well known to be well-rounded, talented individuals. The song they'll be performing is A Motown Snapshot, as arranged by Kirby Shaw. Enjoy.
we have something pretty special to show you. It's an award-winning animation that students at Parkville High School collaboratively created using Adobe Creative Suite. Guided by the visual arts teacher, Matt Duvall, the students were able to create a vibrant montage of animation using a technique called rotoscoping. They found dance videos for reference, then used drawing tablets to create their animations in Photoshop. Each student created 30 to 100 drawings for this music video. This electric and colorful piece is called dance. Can you guess why? Alexandra Lerner Harmel is a contemporary artist that works in multiple mediums and styles and is an art teacher at Lock Raven Technical Academy. She graduated from Maryland Institute College of Art where she studied printmaking and art education. Currently, she is interested in creating multiples in the form of earrings, scrunchies, scarves, bags, pillows, and clothing. Earlier, Imani Clifton Malone met up with her in our studio. Let's meet Alexandra Lerner Harmel. Joining us today is Alex Harmel. Thank you so much. Tell me a little bit about your art styles and the techniques that you utilize. Yeah, so the piece here uh, is a little bit older. Originally I started doing printmaking in college. Um, right now I'm not really doing that as much anymore. Mm -hmm. It's very material intensive, studio intensive that I don't have access to. Mm -hmm. But I'm still doing a lot of similar ideas with doing multiples. So with printmaking it's all about just being able to create something over and over again. Right. Right now though, I'm more interested in like doing the same thing but applying it to objects mm -hmm. and fashion, um, things like earrings and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Do you usually work with more bolder colors or like more black and white? Art? Yeah, good point. So here, um, early on, definitely more black and white. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to some of the earrings and uh, other clothing items I'm doing, mm -hmm. there is I would say it's like selective color, okay. <laughs> like maybe one color, just a couple colors, but yeah, not uh, not mixing, not like high co contrast right. really. What do you use for inspiration in your art? Yeah, so with this piece, um, I actually made it when I was uh, in, about to study in Japan, so mm -hmm. I was kind of in the process of making it and just using my surroundings as inspiration, um, thinking about summer and thinking mm -hmm. about something playful. Uh, more recently though, I think I'm really just anything that I want to recreate. Mm -hmm. um, so for example, some of the earrings I started making uh, is inspired by, um, well first Demon Slayer, this mm -hmm. new anime, and mm -hmm. this character has like these earrings that yeah. he always has. So yeah, I kind of combined that design but also use a similar technique here where I was like carving into wood mm -hmm. to create that piece. So kind of using inspiration nice. from my previous work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seeing things 
on TV, like some of the clothes I've been making. Mm -hmm. I'll just see like in an anime and like want to recreate mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. um, some other stuff, like some of the a piece that was at the art artist teachers exhibit. Mm -hmm. um, that was just inspired because I found this fabric. Mm -hmm. um, somebody was just like giving it away, I was on the side of the street <laughs> and I realized I wanted to make something out of it. Mm -hmm. So really it could be anything. I've also been making, uh, knitting these bags mm -hmm. and those are kind of inspired by like passport holders. Like nice. people usually hang them here. Yeah. Yeah, it has like a design that's inspired by the Chinese passport. So. Uh, that's really smart. Yeah, and creative. <laughs> it can be anything. You know? What are your goals when it comes to art? I think more recently, really my goal is just to be able to keep making art. Mm -hmm. During when the pandemic started, mm -hmm. it just became, okay, what are some things I can make and send to my friends mm -hmm. um, that so the people I can't really see right now. So that's kind of why I got into like doing like little earrings, mm -hmm. little almost like gift bags in a way. Um, and then when it comes to the clothing, my goals there often are like about preservation. So if I have a, a garment that I really like that I can no longer wear, um, even what I'm wearing right now is like something my that was my mom's. And I'm thinking about like how long is that going to last? Mm -hmm. um, can I recreate this so that I have another version of it and not have to like completely lose my memory of it? Right. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing all your creativity and your life and everything. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, it was great being here. <laughs> Let's go to Hebville Elementary School, where during National Hispanic Awareness Month, the young students had the opportunity to perform a few songs honoring Hispanic heritage. Leo W. Weems Jr., the vocal and instrumental music teacher, made sure, including himself, that they all learned and appreciate the history and culture of people of Hispanic descent. The song they are singing is El Floron, which is a game song that describes a hide-and-seek type game that uses a flower. This is El Floron. And that concludes this episode of Entertainment Boulevard. We hope you enjoyed all the great BCPS talent. If you have any idea of talented individuals in the arts for future episodes, we'd like to hear from you. So please email us at bcps-tv at bcps.org. See you next time on Entertainment Boulevard. <laughs>